I am delighted to present this year's President's Award for Volunteer Service to Gordon Gibson. This past, this past year, we've witnessed the juxtaposition of the 50th anniversary of the march from Selma to Montgomery with the repeated killings of unarmed black men and the demands for justice expressed in the Black Lives Matter movement. For Unitarian Universalists, the Selma anniversary became an occasion to re-examine our history and a pilgrimage to rededicate ourselves to our commitment to racial justice. On a personal note, I was not prepared for the palpable sense of connection to our history as I sat in Brown Chapel in Selma and crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Gordon's 50 years as a Unitarian Universalist minister began with jail time in Selma, one month before the violence erupted in 1965. Ordained that same year in January, Gordon was arrested in a February demonstration for voting rights. He was given a five-day sentence, though he spent a full week in jail, and this led to decades of a ministry that held racial justice at its core. His work over the years to lift up our involvement in the civil rights era through leading tours, helping to form the project, and authoring a recent Skinner House book, Southern Witness, has kept our heritage alive and relevant. He has done his work in a manner that embodies humility. He leads by example. In your honor, the UUA will donate $1,000 to an organization of your choice, and not too surprisingly, the Living Legacy Project is the recipient that was identified. <laughs> you have made this jewel of Unitarian Universalism even stronger with this gift. Gordon, we're all in your debt. You have helped our movement to know itself more deeply and to maintain its commitment. Our legacy is alive and well because of your tireless and loving work. On behalf of the entire association, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Peter, many thanks for this recognition and for your kind words about me. This was not one of those instances in which an honoree had to think, I wonder who he's talking about. <laughs> and yet, this award cannot be all about me. I am an incredibly fortunate person in the situations I have found myself in and the people, historic and contemporary, whose paths I have crossed. As a young minister, I stood each week in Theodore Parker's former pulpit. Later, I located the personal papers of 18th century Universalist and women's advocate, Judith Sargent Murray. I heard William Sloan Coffin, Jr., Martin Luther King, Sr. and Jr., and Malcolm X. Good mentors and friends have been a constant. Beyond my wonderfully supportive family and the congregations I've served, I especially need to lift up my teammates in the Living Legacy Project. This, this is a circle of people who saw value in an idea that my wife, Judy, and I began developing and implementing as I neared retirement. The Living Legacy Project has improved and extended what we had begun. And I've seen our civil rights pilgrimages and the recent Selma Conference challenge, change, and empower people. There's something in the process of coming face to face with people, places, and stories 
of the civil rights movement that has changed more lives than all 50 years of my preaching. This is truly the work of Sankofa, of looking back in order to move forward with greater wisdom, of remembering the past in order to creatively shape the future to be more just. I've been privileged to live in interesting times with engaged and interesting people including some in this room right now. I see you. Together, we have done this work. There you go. I'm Peter. Yes. Stay up here. <laughs> Peter and Jim. Speaking of interesting people, I've had a chance to be with. A week ago, I was privileged to have two members of the Reeb family in the congregation as I preached in San Francisco. They asked me to present to you two a picture from Selma inscribed to the Unitarian Universalist Association on behalf of the Reverend James Reeb family, we gratefully appreciate the memorial service March 6, mm. 2015. Marie Reeb and each of her children. Wow. So, wow. for the association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. 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 Thank you. I couldn't be more pleased with uh, Gordon receiving this recognition. I had the distinct honor and privilege of to travel with Gordon and Judy and the Living Legacy team and experience that Sankofa moment that he spoke about. Liz and I made our pilgrimage in 2009. It was an event that informed my life in a way that led me to this place standing before you as moderator.